Okay, I'm standing here next to a tree fern that's actually from our region in the Caribbean. This is Cyathea arborea, which is found in a number of the Caribbean islands. And um, it's a magnificent specimen that we've had here for decades. And one thing that most tree ferns are famous for is having very finely divided leaves. And in fact, this tree fern has leaves that are what's called three times pinnate, so it means it's they're divided once along the main axis, and then second time along the side branches of each leaf, and then a third time. So it's very, very, they give this very leafy appearance, lacy appearance, and then each of those little divisions has little clusters of sporangia that contain many spores. So an individual like this may produce millions and millions of spores. And one thing that's interesting about this specimen is that it's leaning and we need to prop it up, in fact, but tree ferns like this are really adapted to being able to keep growing even if they fall over or get pushed over because most of their trunks are actually roots. So if they fall over, they can produce new roots from wherever the trunk touches the ground, which is something that many flowering trees can't do that very well, but tree ferns are, that's part of their structure. And in fact, their actual stem is quite thin, so most of the reinforcement of the stem is actually roots, and those roots are so tough and so resistant to decay, they're, they're used widely in horticulture for tree fern fiber for growing orchids and other epiphytic plants.